Hello everyone, Heinlein here and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we will go through the auto hover function in the SA342 Gazelle. The auto hover function allows you to take uh, the focus away uh, from actually uh, controlling uh, the aircraft's uh, rudder, stick and uh, collective and instead uh, focus on uh, scouting uh, for targets and operating uh, the camera system. Before we get started we need to check uh, which key bindings we are going to use. We are going to use uh, the auto hover toggle and the auto collective toggle. I have them uh, bound to my whole task, but you can always uh, use uh, uh, the default key bindings right here. And while we're at it, you should also uh, bind your auto slave toggle right here, but that is a subject for another video. Let's just focus on these two for now. So let's get back in the cockpit. So now I'm going to unpause and I'm going to show you how to engage the auto hover uh, uh, function. Unpause here. Let's get no low. Let's just say uh, there uh, we have we are suspecting a couple of targets uh, ahead of us. So let's uh, take cover behind these buildings right here. That's the great thing about uh, this uh, helicopter, it's really easy to hide. Alright, let's come to a stop here. Uh, let's just pause for a uh, little uh, minute here. Just going to explain uh, a few things. When it comes to actually engaging the auto hover function, there are a couple of parameters we need to be within. Uh, according to the book, uh, we need uh, to have a ground speed less than 18 kilometers an hour, a roll and pitch angle less than uh, 30 degrees, and a vertical uh, speed of uh, less than 60 meters uh, per second. I have found that those parameters is a bit liberal. You need to be a, uh, a lot more strict in order to be able to engage the auto hover. A great tool you have is uh, this thing uh, on the front right here, this uh, little uh, pointy thing with uh, a rope on the end. This one indicates if you're going forward, backwards or side to side. If this one is hanging down then you're uh, pretty much at a standstill and, uh, you, um, and uh, you can safely engage the auto hover. Another tool you have is uh, the Nadir uh, uh, system right here. If you set this in VS mode then uh, it's indicated ground speed right here. But uh, engaging it from uh, high altitude is uh, quite difficult. It's a lot easier to do it if you when you're low and have a reference of uh, movement uh, around you. So let's uh, unpause and let's engage the auto hover. There we go. So now the auto hover is engaged. Now I'm going to uh, disengage the collective toggle. Uh, just see here, pressing the button like so. Let's climb up and uh, jump into the instructor seat. Turn on the camera. And let's uh, scout for some targets. Turn on the IR function like so. When scouting for targets I uh, spotted uh, the control tower of uh, this airfield right in uh, front of us here. The aircraft controller has uh, denied us uh, fly uh, flybys uh, lately and said that the pattern is full and uh, I don't believe him. So I don't like him so let's uh, set a send a hot missile uh, towards him. Let's get uh, this one right so yeah there we go. Let's check the range. And we have launch authority and fire. Haha, take that with your coffee. Now that uh, that is taken care of, let's uh, get down again. Oh, <laughs> that was close. That was me dropping uh, too fast and uh, the autopilot uh, disengaged or the auto hover disengaged. That can happen if you descend uh, too quickly. 
But uh, I hope uh, this was uh, helpful and you learned a bit how to use the auto hover. So thank you all for uh, watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.